Hello, this is Jason Bjorklund of the Iowa Golf Association, and in this tutorial video, we'll be talking about the reassign tees option that you'll find under the course header of TPP Online. The reassign tees option is a very important function to check in each event you administer on TPP Online to ensure the proper scorecards are applied to each player and the proper yardage is being shown on the results side of things. So, for uh, this example today, I'm going to go ahead and select the IGA Test Championship that has already been somewhat set up for us. You're probably familiar with this basic setup window that you'll uh, you'll go through in the initial setup of an event. You can see here I have two rounds of stroke play and the dates down here at the bottom. And then, especially important to this video, you select a default T for men and a default T for women for each round. You can use this browse button here to change the default T for men or women. Uh, you're going to be able to present it with a T selection window and a drop down for any T that you currently have loaded onto your TPP online program. If you have any questions on how to load additional T's aside from the ones at your home club, you can go ahead and watch the video titled Course Management and that will show you how to do that. For our example here, I'm going to leave it as the default tees for men at tan and the default tees for women at yellow. And I'm going to go right into our course and reassign tees option. As I said, I've already done some work on this event uh, prior to the start of this video, meaning I've got my players in, in the field already inserted in. And at the very top, you can take a look at your filter options looking at all the rounds for the players or a particular round one, round two, however many rounds you have set up for your event. I'll go ahead and say all here and I can see each player in my field and what T they are currently assigned to. As we scroll down through here you can see they're all tan T's for the men and it looks like I do have one uh, one woman in our field, so she's assigned to the yellow tees, which follows our basic setup. However, in many, many events, you're going to have players playing from different sets of tees, so you're going to have to choose one tee for men and one tee for women in the basic setup, and then go into your course reassign tees option and get specific about who's playing on what tees. So we could go ahead and click certain players that we wanted to change. And the ones I have selected here, I'm going to go up to the Select a T drop down, and I'm going to change that to the Otter Creek Black Tees. So I've got my proper selection there. I'll click Apply Save. And then the message says that the selected players have been reassigned. And remember, I did this for all rounds, so I could change this to round one now. Obviously, I see the changes there for those individuals and round two and they're there as well. And now to see the effects of this change and why it is important that each golfer is assigned to the proper tee they're playing. One, if it's a handicap event you of course want them assigned to the proper tee so we're applying the proper amount of strokes for each golfer. Let's go to course management for just a moment. We know we have some uh, male golfers that are assigned to the uh, black tees as well as the tan tees and you can see here from just by looking at the scorecard the black tees are at a yardage of just over 6900 yards and the tan tees have a yardage of 6500. When going in to score the event later as they come in and hand in our scorecards we can go to player scoring and I know that Tiger, if I can find him here, here he is, when I click the edit, he was changed to, now he's playing the black tees, and that matches here on his scoring row. So uh, we can see that the change takes effect all the way through the event you've set up. Even in an example like this where I've already done my scoring, you'd obviously want your tees to be properly assigned prior to the event, uh, especially when you're handing out individual scorecards because you want to show the proper yardage for each player on the on the tee they're assigned to. So I would uh, highly recommend once you've got your players into the event and you've made your pairings but before you've done your scorecards or run any reports to just go in and check this course 
reassign tees. Even if everybody is playing the same set of tees and you think you have it covered in basic setup, it's worth uh, an extra 15 seconds to just go into this reassign tees window and ensure that indeed every player in your field is assigned to the proper tee for the day. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the reassign tees function, please feel free to give the Iowa Golf Association staff a call at any time.